one of the IDP film cars is a Ford, which gets serviced at the main Ford dealer. And what we've noticed uh, two days ago, the coolant, maximum, minimum, is virtually empty. This has got to go. Now we've just taken the, uh, taken the cap off to look inside of it, but that bottle has got to go. So, what we're going to do this morning is replace a bottle with a genuine Ford bottle. Uh, can you believe it's made in Italy? But have a guess how much that is. Brand new from Ford, 12 quid. So we're going to replace it, put a new one on, take the old one off, and that should cure the, uh, the problem because what's happened, it's leaking at the side. Well, the first thing to do is, if you have got coolant in it, and you want to change the bottle, you want to bleed the system, take a take an air, uh, an air thing and suck it into a bottle. But because this is virtually empty, is to take a pipe out of there, two clips, push, lift that one off, clip as well, be a little bit tight that well obviously don't snap the clips just got to get them off see the clips on there literally push in and pull now at the base there's a big one so use some pliers wrenches or whatever you want to call them Put that onto the hose, and that should come off. Take the, take the clip off. Might be a bit tight because obviously it's been on here since it was new. Actually, will that bottle come out of there? Just gonna get this hose off first. Get a big screwdriver a flathead screwdriver and just basically pull the hose down obviously don't rip the hose at all when you're doing this just ease it off there you go we'll have a bit of coolant come out in a minute but the tank's empty so you can come out of there right there we go hold that hope there should slide up well, there's a locking plate on there, so we're going to pull that over to get it up. Get the molars on it a sec, just to pull it over a bit. That's tight, there you go. She's off. Clip on the back, I think. And a good way with a new bottle, you can actually see on the back of it, there's a, a clip, and there's a clip there. So I've got to undo that clip to get it off as well. That one's difficult to get to, that is. There you go, lift it, in it come. Right, there's the old coolant bottle. Now, what's been happening with this coolant bottle, um, because the car's coolant runs at, I don't know, not, say 90 degrees, uh, gets very hot, it's like a kettle boiling, hot and cold, hot and cold, hot and cold. This is only plastic, and it's actually got a hairline crack in the bottom, and that's where it's been leaking. And you can see all the coolants on the uh, metalwork. So this bottle has had its day. There's another crack there actually appearing. See that? So it's worth changing these coolant bottles, I think every, I don't know, every two years, three years. I mean, when you consider that's 12 pounds and it's so easy to do, every two years, just put a coolant bottle on. You can't go wrong. So what I'm gonna do is clean this area up now. So it's immaculate. Now what I'm gonna use for this is a acid-free wheel cleaner by Autoglim. Uh, spray it on, agitate it, 
this will just get rid of all the old coolant which has been leaking. I'm going to wash it down with some water in a minute, just get all the crap off. Now this acid free, free cleaner which I buy from Autoglim, they say don't uh, water it down but I usually put a 50-50 mix of water. So let's just rub it in, get rid of any sort of uh, coolant that we've had because coolant is corrosive. Because in a minute we're going to, there's a bit of uh, crap down there. We're going to wash it down with a watering can in a minute. So that coolant bottle's been leaking for at least six months, I reckon. It's been getting worse. And if you don't change them, they will just split and you'll lose all your coolant, which is not a good thing to have in your engine. This car's only got 30,000 miles on it as well, so it's, fairly, it's a fairly new engine, fairly new car as well. It's not done the mileage. Get rid of all the coolant. Because what you want to be doing in about a week's time or two weeks time is when you've done all this is make sure you've got no other coolant leaks. So by getting rid of all the old coolant debris, you can tell if you've got a leak. So clean it, let it penetrate. down there this uh, auto glim cleaner for your wheels is superb at getting rid of all contaminants like this all right leave that to soak it all you want to do is put some water on to uh, get rid of all the coolant crap There we go, we're not putting it onto the HT leads or the coils, it's only going onto the uh, bodywork of the car. Now what I've just noticed as well, this is the, uh, the brake uh, reservoir. It's got a load of crap on it. The top is on by the way, I'm just going to clean all the crap off it. Again, just put it in so it agitates all the... Uh, Crap, because that's built up over the miles. Obviously, make sure with a brake reservoir you've got the top on. You don't want any water going into the brake uh, reservoir. Just agitate all that in. I think you can see now how cleaner that uh, that is. Nothing like having a clean engine bay. Again, don't put the hose pipe on, just put a watering can on. Get rid of all the cleaning stuff. So what we've done, we've cleaned all the uh, coolant which was connecting at the bottom it was leaking at the bottom of the crack there's one crack there there's a small crack forming there these bottles don't last don't last long so that's uh that's the old one i spilt a little bit of coolant there which we don't want right time to fit time to fit the new bottle maximum minimum they've actually imprinted the uh the type onto the plastic what i'm going to do is put a bit of black on there makes it easier to read looks better as well so i'm just going to do that now
why don't four do that? So maximum, minimum. So you can actually physically see it instead of being clear. So that's a modification that has been done. So very easy to put this in. Clip on the side, clip on the back. Got to get them onto there. Back one's got to go on first. I'll push it on. They're tight to get on, by the way. That's on. The front one's got to be clipped in. Make sure you've got the hoses out. One, two, three. Push it home. That's it. That's home. You can hear them because they'll clip into place. We've got the big hose at the bottom. All right, now because we've got this hose on and we've got this clip, what I'm going to do is put some silicon onto the uh, plastic to help it slide on because it was a tight fit getting off. So make sure you get it uh, perfectly round. Slide it all the way to the top. There's two grooves in the... Uh, in the hose which you've got to just marry up with the container and that's got to go on that's it that's on when you get those clips lined up it shows you where it is get that big uh, clip as well big clip this thing is come on let's get around Right, get your uh, pliers. Right, get it into the same position as it was before. Very tight, these are. She's on. Right, double check that's on. That is on. That clip there. Right, make sure he fits on. Two clips you pull together. Push it on. Clipped into place, check that. This one's have gone exactly the same. Two clips of the rubber seal on there. So what I'm going to do is put some silicon on the on the rubber, just to help it. Push that onto there. That's clipped on. Well, we're going to double check the bottom feed hoses in. That hose is in. The turbo uh, pipe for the coolant's in. The top. We're going to check the top. As I said, that's thirty-five pound for that top. Nothing wrong with it at all. Just make sure it's a fit, it is. Thing to do is put some coolant in it, mate. Now with any uh, coolant you get, give the can a shake. Obviously settlement might have, might have occurred. <clears throat> now when you start the car, you've got to have it on uh, maximum heating. Put the heaters to full, put the vents to full, make sure there's no air locks in it. And we're going to take this up to the uh, maximum line. So what we're going to do, as I said, I've painted the marks now to make it even easier to see. It's going to go up to the uh, maximum line. The engine's stone cold. Obviously the engine's got to be cold. There's a minimum coming up to. Just going to get it to that, uh, that maximum line. It's time to start the car. Well, that's one minute of uh, running at the moment. It's gone down to the minimum. So we're going to put it to the uh, maximum again. They are pressurised containers, these are. Top's on. 
on, make sure the top is uh, nicely tight and secure. Now that turbo hose, you can see it feeding in coolant into the bottle. And that's what that is, that's from the turbo. Now still at the maximum, the heat is wrong, I'm going to get the car to temperature to double check it's all working. It's a little bit in there at the moment still, but we're going to give it a temperature, let it go cold. 